hi everyone welcome back to the channel Benny done by Anna it's Anna with you here of course and today we are at the very beginning of our lovely Benny Dom's Levant Beach and we're going to have a nice walk by the beachfront up until the very end of the beach and let's see what kind of life here is going on there's a lot of people if not how many sunbeds there are here and in general just enjoy the sound of our lovely Mediterranean Sea. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's go! As you can see, the beginning of the Levante beach is always, always full of people. That's a normal thing here. The water, I must say, is very nice as well. It's very warm. So probably we are even going to go and swim today or tomorrow. I wanted to show you the cable ski all these extra activities that you have from the Levante beach are already open and available for you there are some uh, tents some tents right there at the beginning right here here and here and this one here this is um, jet ski for example right there you can go and just ask for the rental if you're interested in prices let me know I'm gonna make a separate video for you guys on what you can do on the Levante beach apart from laying on the sun and swimming and I'm gonna let you know all the prices of course beginning of the Levante beach up until this hotel Brisa right here has been given to people who live here who don't want to spend the extra money for an uh, umbrella like for the sunbeds and for all that so they are not here but if you go slightly less slightly more a few meters from the hotel this is where the interesting things start look at this it's just crowded it's just overwhelmed with all these sunbeds for now they didn't put them in place so far which is very strange because um, all the other beaches did already and they already ran them but this one here they just brought a bunch of of some beds and they just left them here it doesn't really give a good image for the beach area but at least um, some people who are coming for holidays and they are willing to have a sun bed they don't want to stay just on the sand you will have an opportunity to do that however as I've mentioned already in a few other videos I get a feeling that there's a lot a lot more of them than it's used to be even the last year last year only a few areas were with these sunbeds but right now there's a lot of them
Wow, he's tanned. My God, I've never seen such a tanned person at the beginning of summer. I've been walking for about, um, what about, like six minutes, seven minutes almost. And I must say that the water is just amazing. It's so inviting you to get in and have a nice swim. Just enjoy the sea, finally. This is why a lot of people, even in the morning, when the water is slightly colder than during the day, they are already having a nice swim. By the way, here also in Benidorm, not only in Albir, they put these um, fun pedal boats. These ones right here. As you can see, they're slightly um, funnier than the ones that we have in Albir. We just have simple ones like this one. But these are like curvy style. This one even has like a dragon on it. And the prices are the same. It's 20 euros per hour.
I've just spotted some strange thing and I'm gonna try and go and show it to you I'm with the phone so if you'll see the phone slipping onto the water the video will be ended here <laughs> but what I want to show you is that here in the water um, it's the first time ever that I see some rocks actually I'm gonna try and get a little closer there you go so If you see right there, there are some rocks and I've never seen them here before. Maybe this is because of the storms that we've had, probably, but if you, all the rest is just rock bottom, see? And it goes right until there. So basically it makes the beach of a very uh, small depth. This is very strange. And it's also dangerous, by the way, if they are very extremely slippery. So if you need to take that into consideration when you go right here. But at least you can have a nice walk through this alley if you want to. I'm going to show you what depth is right here. All my shorts are, of course, in the water, but that's fine. So it's basically up until here, like half legs. I'm told, you know, I'm approximately 1 meter um, 73, 74, so if you are not as tall as me, it's going to be even more for you, but right near the beach, basically this is what it is, right here. Let's continue our beach walk. As you can see also, the thing that I've spotted is that um, there's a lot of people that are without a mask walking by the beach area. Um, as you might know, the thing about this is that uh, once you are on the beach, you don't need to wear a mask while you are sitting. But um, while you are walking where, where there's a lot of people, you have to wear a mask on. It's not something that you can choose. It's obligatory by law. But as you can see, all the people, every single person that comes in front of me or behind me, they don't wear a mask while they're walking, which they shouldn't be doing. But people just, um, they, I suppose that they um, think about the, uh, minimum social distancing and they think that if it's kept they are safe or maybe a lot of them are vaccinated already i don't know but this once again does not imply that you cannot get sick but that's that's just how people are here once they see better results in pandemics they all uh, immediately think that okay masks off nothing's happening which is not always good because um, it might make the situation a lot worse very fast but hopefully it's not going to be the case see actually is that right there at the beginning so like the first part of the beach was full of sunbeds but actually right here they take them out I don't know why this happened probably it's just because um, maybe the municipal hall let them know that it's too much and they shouldn't be putting as many in one spot uh, and they should leave some more space for people just to come without a sunbed but this miracle finally happened and all this area, it's not for sunbeds anymore. So like right there, as you can see, everything is empty and free for people to use. And on this side, the same thing. So basically here on the center, 
of the Levante Beach. Everything is available and there are no paid sandals, which is quite a good news. There are some more pedal boats right here. There are some more dinosaurs, like funny, funny things, especially for children. Children like uh, teenagers and children just love these. Although a lot of them are afraid to jump to the water, but just simply by being able to touch the pedals and swim into the sea, like with a the boat, they are already happy. By the way, um, the reason why you don't see any lifeguards right here today is because it's still early. It's um, 9.40, 9.50 right now, which is why there are no lifeguards. They're coming at 10 in the morning. Right here we can see another area of some beds, but they are not ready just yet. Taking into consideration that these some beds they are put like this, which already occupies a lot of space, but once they're gonna be put two by two, oh here's the lifeguard. Two by two, plus they need to have a minimal distancing of one and a half meters then all this place will occupy a lot more space than it actually does right now. Look at that, that's like a natural water cascade. Filling up and then going down. If you thought that the beginning of the Levante beach was crowded, we are getting towards the last half, like last third part of the beach. And um, normally in the center, in the middle of the Levante beach, there is not that many people because, um, well, I don't know, people just like easy access. And the easier the access is, the better and more people are coming look at that this one here this wasn't here actually 
remember a few weeks maybe even a month ago we came here and we've seen that there is like a slippery floor but we didn't know what that was well that's what it is this was the area when a lot of boats were uh, going by this towards the sea and right now it's fully discovered so basically the beach was eaten by the water right here and this is what you have right now so you have to be very careful because it's actually well yeah it's actually quite slippery A lot of the hotels are actually specifically in this area, the majority of them. Uh, on the beginning of the beach we had the Hotel Brisa, for example the uh, Beni Cactus. But here, the ones that we have are the Hotel Simbel, which is this one right there. I have a video about this hotel from the inside, I'm gonna put it for you here once again on the screen the link so that you could check it from the inside it actually is worth looking because it's just amazing if i would come to benidorm i would definitely choose probably this hotel for staying because the rooms are fully reformed it's right by the beach area and it has a lot of lovely extras inside The lifeguard is here, which means that it's officially 10 a.m., guys. next hotel that is also open for public already before it was opening during a weekend but right now it's open all days in a week and it's that one right there which is Sol Costa Blanca the difference about this hotel is that it's adults only There are some more boats in here and actually I see that the newest cars, the one that's like Flamingo, like this one, um, Pelicans and stuff like that, like the dinosaurs, here in Benidorm they cost 25 euros. Not 20 as in Albir, but 25.
as you can see, the beach is getting quite busy. By 11 o'clock, there is going to be hardly any place to sit down right here. Probably this is where we're going to end our today's video because right there is just impossible to walk. There's just a lot of people. Everything is full. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you got to enjoy the walk together with us. If you did, don't forget to put a like and subscribe to the channel if you still didn't do so. Thank you all for watching. I wish you a very nice day of today. And I'm going to see you tomorrow with the latest update on the situation from our lovely and sunny Spain. Bye, everyone.